Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode on the Dynamic Lifestyle Podcast. Got Chris right here. It's a beautiful Saturday. It's actually not beautiful. It's actually gloomy and it was uh, sprinkling a little bit. So I take that back. It's, it's kind of like an ugly weather Saturday, but you know what? I'll tell you really quick, which is really cool, right? What we started off our Saturday today was uh, we went to a men's group for the mm. first time. I've never been to an all men's group. And this was, it's called the Mighty Men through um, our church that we go to. So we've been going to a new church, you know, for the last couple of weeks and our friend invited us to this group. I guess it's every Saturday at seven in the morning and I was blown away. There was like literally close to a hundred people there, hundred men, yeah. right? And all walks of life. And uh, it was great. It was about an hour and a half. Everybody just sharing their stories, being vulnerable, just learning from each other, networking. And it was awesome. A great way to kick off the Saturday and just something, again, that I'm trying to just be more a part of, right? Just community in person uh, and just, you know, connect with more people. And again, I've never been to an all men's group, so I'm stepping outside my comfort zone. I'm trying to grow. So just want to share that with you guys. I mean, pretty, it was pretty cool though, right? No, it was. Yeah. It was something really different. And like we said, guys, like we're trying to change some things up here. You know, um, one of them is to work on renewing our faith and our spirituality by going mm -hmm. to church again. Um, and this men's group, this men's group is uh, another kind of like challenge, right? That we're just not used to doing. And it gets us out of our comfort zone and it's going to make us better as coaches, as leaders, um, as podcasters, as serving to like our community and to you guys. And that, that's all it's going to do, you know? So I'm excited about it. Yeah. And I, I I honestly felt like I was being coached up this morning by the guy. He was actually yeah. a Navy SEAL, which was really cool too. Just um, he had some really good stories, and he was just spitting a bunch of fire and wisdom. And I was like glued, you know, to where I was like, man, I could absorb all this, and and I could, you know, even use some of this stuff. This is great material, and I felt like he was coaching me. So For sure. again, um, it just goes back to like we all need a form of coaching, accountability, and that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty and art of coaching, and um, you know, that's kind of what brings us to today's episode, which is. Um, what, I, what we're gonna what we're gonna we're gonna call it is the the hottest profession going into 2021. Ooh. Which I, I still think it's the hottest profession present, but it's gonna become even more hotter in 2021. The hottest which is profession. Mm -hmm. The art and just uh, the skill of coaching, right? And this is all types of coaching. I'm not just talking fitness coaching. I'm talking coaching in general. Coaching people around life, relationships, wealth, health amazing amazing uh skill to have and profession to have so i'm excited about this so let's let's get into this chris and we're going to give some value on this too i want to give like these three this three secret formula that i have when it comes to coaching and leadership and i know you guys will get a lot of value from this and have some some, some stuff to think about most importantly so let's get into this um i want to ask you a question and uh, i'm going to take it way way back so like almost like a decade ago which mm -hmm. i know i'm making you feel like an old man and i'm sorry <laughs> It is what it is, man. So what got you into coaching like 10 years ago and why do you still do it? Yeah, I, um, I, I think it got me, what got me into it was first of all, personal training. And I didn't even think that personal training was coaching, right? So I just got into that because I liked helping people out and I was fascinated with like, you know, personal training, nutrition, like training, seeing people change, the carryover effect into their lifestyle, right? So I didn't know it was really coaching at that time. Where I really fell in love with coaching was doing online fitness coaching. That's where I really fell in love with it. And I was like, wow, I could kind of like take a seat back and be like, this is truly what coaching is. It's leadership, right? It's absolutely leadership, like what we're doing here. Um, and it's leading them to become the best version of themselves through fitness, right? And other people that do coaching through like, you know, say real estate or through like, um, you know, relationships or anything like that that's their vessel to bring people out in their best form, right? Yep. To play at a bigger level in life. And that's what I love about it. I think that's what I fell in love with though, is just like doing online fitness coaching. And now like, I fell in love again with doing coaching for our fitness professionals, helping them make more impact, influence, income, and independence as fitness professionals. You know, and another thing I want to kind of say too is I'm excited that we actually joined um, Evan Pagan's um, virtual coach program. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you guys know who Evan Pagan is, but man, this guy's been in the industry for so long, you know, just a pioneer in coaching, right? So we've learned a lot of things from him and we actually just invested in his virtual coach program. 
um, maybe just like past few days. And we did it because we want to be better coaches. We don't stop learning. Even after a decade of being coaches, we don't stop learning. We want to be better coaches to our fitness professionals. We want to be better servants. And ev eventually, we want to be better coaches overall, even just outside the scope, but just like helping our fitness professionals. So it's a non-stop type of thing where we're just mm -hmm. hungry for more knowledge on how to be a better coach. So it was like, yeah, we're going to invest in this program. I don't care how much it is. We're going to invest in it. We're going to learn in the next 90 days how we can apply these things to our fitness coaches and then beyond going forward. You know, So to answer your question, Eric, I mean, really, that's what, what made me fall in love with it. It was just the leadership-based um, coaching aspect of it, leading people to be, you know, come, to come out of their shell and be a better version of themselves. They really didn't know that they had underneath it all. If that makes sense. Yeah, I love that. And I, I want to ask a follow-up question real quick. But it, it, now, the more I think about this too, just kind of going back in time, I mean, we've we've been having coaches all of our life. You know, you really think about it. Like, I feel like my, my father, you know, was, was a coach to us. He was so hard on us, like just instilled discipline, just work ethic, education, sports. Like it was nonstop, you know, and uh, God rest his soul. And I, I just, I thank him every day for that because it's it, a lot of that stuff turned me into who I am now, you know, but I didn't really appreciate it back then. But we've been having coaches all of our life, you know, just like our father, you know, our mom was like, I was a coach um, going into you know, school, even though the school system sucks, they're still somewhat of coaches, right? They're trying to help you. But then we've had coaches through playing soccer, you know, all of our life, which is like, you know, just is it AAU, all those traveling teams, basketball coaches, right? I mean, mentors, masterminds. I mean, you really think about it, it's like, holy crap, like you've had coaches all of our life. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. So then I guess my, my, my follow-up question is just like, what is the, the big impact that coaching has really done for you in your life? I mean, first of all, are you interviewing me here? Is that I, what's I going on here? See, I flipped the script on Chris. He wasn't the prepared for this. <laughs> what has it done for me? I mean, kind of like what I said, it, uh, what the ripple effect it does, it just brings out the best in me. You know, it makes me 1% better because it's outside eyes, it's accountability, it's speed. You know, I'm learning from somebody that has been there or done that or has a level of success that I want to achieve, right? So it's buying me speed. It's buying, it's buying me accountability because we all need to be held accountable. I don't care who you are, you know? you need yeah. Everybody needs to be held accountable in some aspect if you want to get to that next level. So the accountability is like on me. I'm, I'm investing in this, so I'm paying attention. I don't want to sit there and you know fail at that because i invested in this so i'm holding myself accountable and then i don't want to fail to the coach because you know i'm going to waste his time or her time if i sit there and you know bs around it i don't you know fulfill what they have done or outlined for me right so it's accountability and then also too it's um what did i say uh, accountability speed i said something else that you're buying within it so i have like a brain fart uh, i said accountability speed and I could say proximity too, you know, like you're buying proximity as far as like in that circle, you're getting skin in the game as mm -hmm. well too. Like if you're looking to get people on your podcast, if you're looking to build your network, if you're looking to eventually do like a JV or collab, I mean, it's a game at the end of the day too. So you're getting skin in the game, you're buying proximity to that as well too. So I would say those three things, but I think the biggest thing for me, the coaches is the outside eyes and just having me play at my maximum potential, which we're not taught in school. And sometimes we're not taught in our upbringing, you know, so that's why you need coaches, why I need coaches. Everybody who's listening to this needs coaches, and you know I'm going to continue to have coaches. Yeah, I mean, what no. would you say for yourself, man? If I had to throw it back at yeah, you? Yeah, no, no, I, I almost kind of thought that you know you were going to do that, so I'm already ready. So, um, <laughs> so I, I really truly think to to be a great coach who helps clients win is the key to long term success is to coach every day, right? I mean, it's a nonstop thing, and if you really think about it. Even just um, you know, with us, our first business, Dynamic Duo Training, that we we're not no, we don't do that anymore. We don't do fitness coaching anymore. But when we did that, we were coaching every single day with our clients, and that's why we had so much success, and they had so much success because we truly cared, mm -hmm. and we showed that, and we were able to build powerful relationships. We were able to sit there and break down these barriers, and really connect with these clients, which that is one form and, and piece of you know coaching that you have to get good at. Not everyone just can just do that. You can't just jump into coaching and be like, okay, I'm gonna be good at this and breaking down my clients and peeling back layers. Heck no. It takes sets and reps and it takes a lot of just practice to do that in time. Mm -hmm. So um, for me, that's what I appreciate so much is just the, the, the fact that I was able to impact so many people's lives through health and fitness coaching. And I remember when we coached bikini uh, competitors, 
uh, men's competitors. It was never the fact that I can get them in tip top shape and look amazing on stage and, and win. It was always about, thank you for changing my life. Thank you for making such an impact. Thank you for expanding my mindset. And that, that's what mattered most, was just that gratitude and be like, damn, like this is why it's so powerful to be a coach. It doesn't have to be a fitness coach, just a coach in general, because you're serving, you're impacting, and you're changing people's lives. Mm -hmm. And then they go and teach that off to other people, whether it's friends, family members, coworkers, peers. So it's a huge snowball effect to make the world a better place. So that's kind of like my answer is just that, just the impact on that. It was never about getting them results, even though that was my job. I knew that that would come with like my skill set and and them putting in the work and when when they believed in me right as a coach, but it was always just like the aftermath of like seeing them progress and change as people. Yeah, and even till today, what we're doing with Dynamic Fit Pro, uh, our, our our Dynamic Fit Pros program, you know, helping fitness professionals, it's the same thing. They're wanting to build a business. They're wanting to create more income, impact, influence, independence. But at the end of the day, what we're doing too is we're changing their mindset. And their outlook on life and ultimately we're getting so much just like you know just positive responses so much feedback all the testimonials case studies and it's only been three years doing this with dynamic fit pros mm -hmm. so i know that might be a long-winded answer but i mean there's just so much I, I could do a whole like just like episode on just the power of coaching and what it's done for my life other people's lives and it's just a, it's an amazing profession. It really, really yeah. is. And I, I, I can't see myself doing anything else because yeah, I'm so damn good at it. Yeah. You yeah. Know? And I think just one more thing and to wrap this part up and then we'll move on um, with coaching. I think you're ultimately what you're doing as a coach too, besides leading is you're, you're helping people break down false uh, limiting beliefs Yeah. in false limiting beliefs. You can break through some of those things, man. I mean, your, your true potential, your true gifts and talents are going to come out to the world and it have a ripple effect of itself. So I think that's one of the biggest things too, the biggest impacts of it. Absolutely. Okay. So let's move on to this. I want to move on to, um, the, the, the three questions and the, the leadership formula that I told you guys in the beginning. So what this kind of, uh, entails of, and you know, I wish I could have, uh, you guys see the image of it, but we can't do that. So I have this pulled up on my iPad. So the first one is in this leadership formula is number one, right? Is achieve. So if you are a coach right now, if you are an aspiring coach, okay, and like I said, it doesn't have to be in fitness, it could be in health, wealth, and relationships. So this is the whole thing that I'm talking about in this episode. So number one is achieve. What is it that you want to achieve? What is the vision? What is your want? What is your desire? What is the goal? And then what are you moving towards? Okay. And I would say too, with this though, like they could ask themselves these questions as a coach, but more importantly, they ask their clients these questions though. Yeah, right? abs so it's, absolutely. It's like twofold. Absolutely. Yeah. So number two in this leadership formula is avoid. So what do you want to avoid? So what is the nightmare? What is the danger? What is the fear? Okay, I could even say what is the false or self-limiting self belief? Mm -hmm. What's the problem that you're facing? And what do you want to get away from? Okay, so really think about that. Number three is alignment. So, or excuse me, it's act. So what's your next step to act, right? What we practice and preach on this, on this podcast is take action, act, act, act. So it's, what are you in alignment with? What are you going to do for implementation? And what are you going to do for accountability? How are you going to be resourceful and sit there and freaking take action as being a coach or even help your clients do this as well too? Yeah. So that's really good, you know, and so kind of just to recap that and like put these in like in, in question forms is number one is achieve so what do you want to achieve as a coach or what do you want your client to achieve right the second one is avoid what do you want to avoid as a coach you know for your client you know what do you want your client to avoid you know and usually it's a fear like we talked about a danger or a self-living belief and the third one is act you know what's your next step as a coach or for your client you know what's their next step what's their next just one tangible like actionable step that they need to do you don't have to do five or ten different things it can just be one next small step just to build some momentum and confidence and get the ball rolling you know so these um, these three questions of achieve, avoid, and act have like really helped us out and helped us out like with our coaching clients as well too. So you know if you're a coach, um, I would number one you know do this kind of exercise for yourself, and then number two I would highly encourage you to do this with your clients because it's going to bring out so much clarity, um, you know, with these coaching clients. And number number two they're gonna they're gonna be like wow this you know my coach really cares. And third they're gonna get better results because 
it's not 10, 20 different little things thrown at them and they're getting clarity, clarity of like what they want to achieve, what they want to avoid and what they want to act on. Yep. Yep. Mic drop, Chris. Okay. So that brings us to our big announcement. Okay. So this is something, like I said, I, I told you the beginning, this is going to be the hottest profession going into 2021. And I mean that I, I hopefully you guys can feel the fire and tension next to me. I mean, Chris is next to me. I know he feels it, but this is something we're really excited about. And, you know, we're not putting this out anywhere yet. So this is going to be first announced here on the Dynamic Lifestyle Podcast because I love you guys. Uh, I value you guys listening to our podcast, you know, a couple times a week, hopefully more. Uh, so what we're coming up with is our uh, free five day how to start and build your coaching business and career challenge. I'll repeat that again. It's going to be a free five day how to start and build your coaching business and career challenge. So the reason we're doing this is literally because we believe in the art and skill of coaching and literally it has changed our lives and we have changed others lives too. And I hopefully you heard everything that I said about when I asked Chris the impact question and he asked me, you guys could tell that how much it's impacted our lives and how many how many lives we've changed. So again, at the end, of the, and the reason why we're doing this is because coaching is an evolved form of leadership and collaboration. And all of us have a form of leadership in us, right? We truly, truly do. And again, it goes back to, it doesn't matter like what you want to you know coach people in. It could be any area of health, wealth, or relationships. But at the end of the day, you have some form of leadership to sit there and go serve and help people. And why would you not want to sit there and collaborate and build up your network with people? And also, it's a, it's, it's a lifetime of wisdom and study, right? When you're a coach and you're coaching other people and you're learning from your clients. Yep. And then you're probably at, uh, wondering, who is this for? Is it only for fitness professionals? Because you guys only coach fitness professionals? No, nope, no, nope, no, nope. no, guys. Uh, we're actually doing this, you know, to, to just broaden it out and help more people out that are aspiring coaches, right? And it's a, this doesn't mean that we're like leaving Dynamic Fit Pros and we're, we're doing anything like that. It's just we're just broadening it out right now and trying to help more people out right now, you know, that want to be coaches because there's so many other people that want to be coaches and serve, you know, than other than just fitness professionals, okay? So I have a whole list of different niches um, that you could fall under this and you could be a coach for all of these different niches. So I'm going to really just kind of dig into these really quick so it can get your wheel spinning if you're one of these aspiring coaches in these niches. So obviously health and wellness, style and beauty, sex, love, and intimate relationships, parenting and family, life purpose, business and entrepreneurship, corporate training and consulting, career and professional skill development, real estate, money and finances, retirement and legacy, time management and productivity, personal growth and skill development, religion, faith and spirituality, home improvement and organizing, survival and sustainability, art, hobbies and sports, animals and pets, education, like getting people uh, ready for grade school, high school or college, and then nonprofits and social responsibility. So there's a ton, probably like 20 different like niches right there that you could probably most likely become a coach in if you have an interest or a passion within that niche. That's crazy. That's a lot it of is. niches. So that just goes to show you. I know like, you know, you have a burning desire in you and um, there's something that interests you, right? And you have, you have experience and that you can go and teach people with. So Hopefully that gave you some good ideas. So uh, really quick, if you guys are interested in this challenge, just shoot us a text at 213-319-6702 and text the word coach and we'll start a dialogue and give you guys more information um, about this challenge. But I want to finish up too, you know, um, you know, and you're probably thinking too, like, what am I going to learn, you know, if I join this five day challenge, what's the outcome? So like I said, it's a five day challenge and it's designed that way because we want to make you guys act fast. I don't want to sit there and drag this on, do a 14 to 30 day challenge. I want this to be fast and I want to work with action takers. And so does Chris. So five days will give you plenty of time to sit there and be coached by us and show you guys all the possibilities that you can do with coaching because we have a ton of experience, we have a ton of frameworks, ton of different you know things that we've taught you know other people that they've taught us that we're sitting there putting back into this challenge to teach you and have you become a badass coach going forward so let me kind of break down the five days so day one is going to be identifying your values and breaking past self-living beliefs day two nail and dominate your niche story and messaging day three create your red hot free session offer and charge what you are worth day four post your free session offer day five grow your uh, coaching practices and also you're going to be learning more on getting clear and launch your online business conquer your fears false beliefs and dreams create content around your brand and business develop grit eq confidence and credibility and 
create more income, impact, influence, and independence. So, Man, they're gonna learn all that in five days? Five days, and Ooh. it's free. It's free. Like Man. literally, you have nothing to lose. But I, 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 I warn you, don't. I don't want you to come in with this and, and just like slack off. Like literally, like I said, I wanna work with action takers. I know that there's a lot of you on here that are born leaders that have talents. You guys just need you know, guidance. You need coaching from us. You need a blueprint. You need to you know, have that belief just kind of instilled in you. And that's what we're gonna do in this five day challenge. So again, if you're gonna partake in this, I want you to be serious and really go all out, go all in five days. Okay. So now they got the whole breakdown of five <laughs> days, all that good stuff. Of course, they're gonna they're gonna join if they're action takers. Yeah. When and where does this take place? So it starts uh, December seventh, I believe that's a Monday, okay. and it's gonna take place in a, in a private Facebook group. Literally, I mean, nothing crazy. Again, guys, we wanna work with the handful of you guys that just really wanna take action. And I'm not looking for a specific number. I'm just looking for dedicated people that want to become great coaches and influence and impact people's lives and lead people. Yep. And that's really where it's gonna take place and when it starts. So December 7th and um, in a Facebook group. So if you guys wanna join this, this amazing five day challenge to start your coaching business and literally learn how to build an online business, right? Which all of you guys should really consider going into 2021 with the current circumstances, wanna have another revenue stream and who other than us to have you coached, be coached by us and show you how to build an online business, which we've had success for for 10 years now, again, a decade. So if you're interested in this, text us at 213-319-6702 and just text the word coach. It will start a dialogue and give you guys some more information. Yep, hence why we named this podcast episode the hottest profession in 2021. <laughs> so like Eric said, text us. And you know, you guys can get the ball rolling on your guys' coaching uh, profession and career going into 2021. Really live the the life you want. You know, earn the income you want, and serve the people that you truly want with your unique gifts and talents. And I'll leave you guys with one last thought right here. So, successful coaching is about owning that you are the greatest influence and to become a conscious role model. So, just think about that. Like I said, I know a lot of you guys want to get started. Yeah, I know you guys have something great in you guys and we give you guys, we're giving you guys tons of ideas and niches to think about. So again, if you wanna join this challenge, you know, text us at 213-319-6702 and text the word coach and we'll give you guys some more information. But other than that, I think I'm, I'm pretty much done, right? That's it. We'll see you guys in the challenge starting December 7th. All right, guys, have a great upcoming Thanksgiving. I know we're only a couple days away, so much love and just gratitude towards you guys. Go out there and live a dynamic lifestyle. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video and another episode on pro tips on living a dynamic lifestyle. We truly appreciate it. Hopefully you got a lot of value out of it. If you're interested in getting more value like this from these pro tips, make sure to subscribe above. We're gonna be dropping these daily. Also, if you are a fitness professional and you're looking to create more income, impact, influence, and independence, we just dropped our new book, Rise of the Fit Pros, so you guys can do all of that. And you can also start building your hybrid training model of in-person and online training. So make sure to click the link or the book right here to grab your guys' copy and we'll send it over to you. Other than that, we're out. Talk to you soon.